and welcome to another PC Perini tutorial. Um, today we're going to learn how to, or I'm going to teach you how to make a uh, desktop-based web application through a program called Prism uh, by Mozilla. As you can see, I've switched to Safari here. Uh, I, I feel that it kind of renders some pages faster and uh, has a better quality to it than uh, Firefox and definitely better than Opera and IE. Okay, got that booted up. For this should be it. No, that's not it. It's really it's a really new uh, piece of software, so you might have some problem. No, that's not it either. Might have a little bit of problem finding it. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, here we go. All right. Well, this is it. Uh, it's the first. Well, it is the first thing on the Google search, and it'll give you some information about it. Little logo there. Shows exactly what happens. Well, <laughs> in a basic kind of way. And there should be, if we do a find, Nah. If you get down to the getting started with Prism, you can download it, download, install. I'm pretty sure all my users know how to do that. Um, if not, post a comment, tell me you want me to do a tutorial and download and install, and I will do one. Uh, but there you go. Download and install. And run it. gonna get a little window right here and uh, it's not an actual application window but it is a utility window so it does not appear up here in the taskbar and uh, we're gonna pick a web page to make an application out of um, let's pick Facebook so you run this you go to Facebook nowhere else Wow, I got a lot of new stuff going on here. All right, well, the application for Facebook is facebook.com. So put that into the URL, and just to be safe, put that old annoying HTTP. You get Facebook or whatever you want. Uh, you can show location bar, but that'll mean that it essentially just becomes a web browser. Um, I choose not to use that. Uh, I do do that. And uh, I don't do navigation keys because my mouse has a back button built in. But if you want to use the back and forward stop and refresh button, use the navigation keys. Create a desktop shortcut. Okay. Any second now. Now, Prism has been a little glitchy on my system. Um, I'm not entirely sure about everyone else's system, but uh, occasionally it won't render the application properly, and uh, so I've got to redo it every now and then. But uh, it should be good. Or maybe not. Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, well, let's go ahead and try again. Uh, hold on, there's somebody at my door. What do you need? No, give me a sec. I'm almost done. Sorry about that, that was my sister. Oops, wrong text box.
fill out everything the way we had it. I'm going to take away that HTTP just because it might not know how to render it. It's being really glitchy on my system. But uh, here's something that I got from Ustream.tv, which is uh, a live stream site. I'll bring that up here for you to see. Oh, weird things happen with Safari there. There we go. And Ustream.tv allows you to sign up and stream or... Uh, yeah, your services aren't needed anymore, but here. And uh, allows you to watch things going on. There are hundreds of streams, including Chris Perillo, who is a uh, quote-unquote geek, and he is just, he's, he's got his own really big YouTube channel and all that good stuff. Um, and you can actually get applications for people's streams. So, whoops. These are a couple of my friends and uh, virtually anyway, and people who stream for, for Chris or with Chris, and of course Chris, uh, right here. Bring up Chris's because he's usually streaming 24 hours a day. See, a little prism window opens. And then it opens the title that would otherwise be uh, put up on your web browser. But as you can see, you can't navigate away from this page. It just it brings up the stream. That's all that's brought up. Period. The end. And uh, so there you have it. That that's how Prism works. And uh, hopefully it'll work a little better on your system than it does on mine. Um, my system has been messed with <coughs> a little too much with all the customization here. So uh, it seems that it just wanted to be annoying today of all days. Um, but yeah, leave a comment, uh, especially if you want me to do that download and install piece. And uh, this is the end. Woot.